It's new gear day. Let's go see what we got. Come on. This is a 1972 Guild F30, and I am stoked to own it. So I have been watching these for nearly a year on Reverb, and uh, I've just kind of watched some come and go, some that I really wanted to pull the trigger on, but I didn't, and I've just been looking for the right one to come along. So not too long ago, this one got listed from a gentleman in uh, Massachusetts, somewhere in the Northeast. And I messaged him a little bit to get some information about the guitar, and I knew I had to have it. Now, the Guild F30 is kind of a unique or special guitar, and it's one of the reasons that I've been watching it for so long, uh, is because they have some unique features. So this guitar is essentially uh, like a triple-O Martin, except it has a deeper, uh, it's deeper than a typical auditorium or uh, triple O style guitar. So this is a little bit deeper than what you would consider from a Martin. So because of that, it's kind of this weird combination between a triple O size and a jumbo depth. And so that gives you some really unique uh, character voicings that you're not going to find in a lot of uh, triple O style or side guitars. Now this guild is awesome. It's been through a lot. It's had some issues. It's got some damage up here on the headstock. Uh, some damage here uh, on the fingerboard, but overall it's in really good condition. Uh, a couple other things, it has had a neck reset and uh, it's going to need some work. I'm not exactly sure what, but if you listen, uh, right around where the neck joins the body, you kind of fret out a little bit so you can hear. And then again, it's perfect. But the characteristics of this guitar uh, are really unique. The deeper body kind of really brings out the lower end that you would typically uh, kind of lose on a Martin Triple O. Um, and man, it just, it sounds so sweet. It looks so cool. The body doesn't have any cracking that I've seen, but uh, yeah, it just looks fantastic. So a little bit about these guitars. They're very similar to uh, the Triple O in terms of wood. So you have a spruce top, mahogany back and sides, a uh, rosewood fingerboard, and these guilds, the guilds that were made from you know, the 50s, 60s, 70s are just really, really incredible, really undervalued. Uh, I 
got this guitar for under a thousand dollars. So I found a vintage and vintage acoustic that plays uh, plays pretty well up up the neck, which I where I would play anyway, and uh, it has wood that has already broken in and really found its voice. So it's an incredible instrument. Uh, you guys should seriously check it out. It's one of my favorites. I kind of am in a predicament now because I have this. I also have a Martin Triple O, so I think what I'm going to do is shoot these guys out uh, in the coming weeks and let you hear a little bit of, about how they're different. I've been looking for one of these guitars for so long, and to finally get one in my hands uh, for a reasonable price is just, uh, it's so exciting. So um, I'll let you hear a little bit more about the guitar. You can, like I said, you can hear the low ends. It also brings out the high ends really well. So. It's a very balanced sound. It, it's not really too scooped. You still have a decent amount of mids, uh, but the low end, I think, is a little bit more articulate on this than uh, my Martin Triple O. Uh, I'll play some of my typical voicings and phrasings just so you can hear a little bit more about the guitar. is uh, that this bridge is actually coming up ever so slightly so it's gonna need to have the bridge re-glued uh, and I'm gonna have to have the neck looked at and kind of that buzzing and, and get it figured out the frets are still really good there's still a lot of play left in these frets and uh, and they they just feel fantastic so I am so stoked to have this guitar with me for a little while uh, get to play it uh, the guild the guild line especially from, like I said, the 50s, 60s, 70s are incredible instruments and you really should check them out. They are undervalued vintage guitars that are paintable and have great voicings. So for songwriting, for expressing yourself through the guitar and through writing lyrics, these guilds can really bring a lot out of you for the value. <laughs> I hope you guys will check out and appreciate these old guilds like I have come to really appreciate it. The Guild F30, man, it's highly underrated. You guys should check them out for the price and for the size and for the sound. It's just incredible. So thanks for watching. Uh, let's talk about what I'm listening to this week. This week, I have been listening to The War on Drugs, I Don't Live Here Anymore. This record is a clinic on sound and sound exploration. It just sounds so good. A couple standout tracks for me are Change, I Don't Wanna Wait, and Rings Around My Father's Eyes. These are uh, really, really, really awesome songs. Like I said, they just sound so unique. The War on Drugs does such a great job exploring sound and uh, em emoting through uh, synth and space. And so it's just a great record. You should check it out. Let me know what tracks you're really listening to in the comments below. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.